guys. It's almost seven o'clock. Hi, Chloe. Ooh. Hi. Hi, everybody. It's almost seven o'clock. We're going to clap here. And then you guys are going to meet Bob, and we're going to make yo what up, pineapple earrings. Tell me about it. Oh, okay, so I'm going to invite somebody to come on with me. His name is Bob. Bob! He is connecting now. We're going to be clapping. How you doing, Tobin? How's Oklahoma? We're clapping here in Astoria, doing what we do. Hey, what's up, Mike? How you doing? We're going to clap here in Astoria in just a minute. And then also, Bob is going to teach us how to make some cool-ass cocktails. Hey, what's up? Hey, everybody. Bob is my manager, in case you're just meeting him for the first time. It's one minute till seven now. Oh, it's seven now. So that means that they're going to start clapping in Astoria. Yay, Mike, are they clapping where you are? I'm in Astoria. Where are you in Astoria, Mike? Oklahoma is awesome. It misses you. I miss Oklahoma as well. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? We're going to clap here in Astoria. I don't hear anything yet. Oh! <laughs> hear them? <laughs> clap at your window. Make sure you're clapping, everybody. Clapping here in Astoria. Yes, we are. We're clapping with the spirit. Here we go. Boss clapping in Worcester, everyone. Massachusetts, Worcester, Warmtown. You can really hear them out there. People are going, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. A lot of my friends are coming back to New York. Um, I'm just worried because I, I saw some of the things about how crazy it, it is getting now that everybody knows that we can go out. They're starting to like really go. They're like, oh, they're free, you know? Hi, how are you, Valentina? Listen to them clap. <laughs> Woo! 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 Oh, that was, a, that was a cop car going, woo! You can hear them clapping outside, it's very nice. We're all in the spirit here. Charlie, are you scared? She just went, Whoa. Okay, she's going to her crate. There they go. So now it's 7.01, and with us tonight, we have Bob, my dear manager. This is Bob. Bob, everybody, is a So Far Sounds volunteer. That's how we originally met, way back in the day. Hear them? It's craziness. Listen to them go. So anyways, Bob has the title of Cocktail Bob. For those of you in Worcester, or for those of you who don't, who don't know and who aren't in Worcester, hi, Tim. Bob is known as Cocktail Bob, and he is going to make us a cocktail tonight. What are you making, Bob? I'm going to make one of my favorites. Um, oh, Bob, turn the audio down on the tablet. On the tablet. Mm -hmm. That's good, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to step back here. I was trying to make sure the It's all good. Hi, guys. Technical difficulties. How are you doing? I love how energy... Oh, yay! Thank you, Valentina! Thank you. That's very nice of you to to encourage. That's what the show is about, is encouraging and trying to help people get their energy up. Rocky's really good at encouraging people. Rocky Dennis, who just came on now and joined the stream. Oh, what are your favorite drinks? What's your favorite drink, Valentina? What do you like to drink, Rocky, Tim? Gotta have your favorite drinks. No? Out there? This. That's so much better, Bob. Good job. Hey, you, you can hear me through the tablet yes. too, or whatever. Yes. Okay. Good. Sorry. What up, Rocky? I wrote a new song, guys. I can't wait. Milk, Tobin, a gin tonic. 
I know I don't drink either, to be honest with you. But Bob does make a mean bijou, and that's what you're making tonight. What is a bijou, Bob? A bijou is actually one of the old cocktails. There's uh, a number of them, but the main cocktail I like is a bijou. Mm -hmm. Very easy to remember, very easy to make. It actually goes back to the 1880s. Cocktails didn't just start, you know, 20 years ago. They started in the 1880s. Wow. And uh, so even back then, they had celebrity bartenders who were, who were famous in San Francisco, Chicago, and New York City. Wow. So, yeah, absolutely. So, so this one was made by Harry Johnson, and he just wanted to come up with something that was simple, something cutting edge. And for the 1880s, this was a cutting edge uh, cocktail. So the main thing that he used was a brand new ingredient to in the United States called what is it? Campari? Oh. oh. Sorry, I'm not. I don't drink, Bob. I'm sorry. I'm terrible at this. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's uh, Rosso uh, Vermouth, actually red vermouth. Oh. Yeah, and it was uh, commercially made in Turin about uh, 1830, something like that, and then it started getting uh, imported to the United States in the 1880s. Mm. So Harry decided, okay, I'm going to try this. The next thing he got was um, chartreuse. And okay. chartreuse is a liqueur made by Carthusian monks going back to, I think they got the original recipe in like 1605. And uh, they basically were kicked out of almost every country in Europe. They were the monks? Monks, monks. Why? Were they getting drunk? Well, no. They made the. Uh, uh, don't forget, until aspirin was made by Bayer in the 1880s, there was no uh, medicine. So everybody had their own herbal recipes. And the monks were the places that actually would go to because they would get something called aqua vita, which is the... Uh, 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 Water of life? life? Yeah. So um, they were in France, uh, but the French Revolution came around and they said, no, your religious organization were kicking you out. So they ended up going to um, England. And about that time, I might be off, but the uh, reparation got to them. Uh, they ended up in Spain, then they ended up back to uh, France, but World War II, they got kicked out again. But anyway, the long and short of it, they're back in France. Uh, they're down by Grenoble, which is in the Alps. Okay. And the recipe has been traded down for all of these centuries from the monks to, to two monks and each monk has a separate piece of the recipe they go into a room they make the concoction and so it's, it's unknown but it's a very interesting herbal it has over 130 different herbs in it so it's healthy for you and also the alcohol uh, of it is about 110 percent what very sweet. So we have these two ingredients, then we have gin. Everybody knows what gin is? The basic thing is gin is usually made from barley, it's fermented. And uh, the only difference between gin and vodka is gin has to have 51% juniper in it. And then you add in cloves, you add in lemon peel, you add in flour. So, the bijou. The bijou means jewel oh French. okay so you have three different jewels what would this be clear oh Hyman. okay chartreuse. oh chartreuse emerald mm. rosso vermouth ruby. ruby so with all of that i'm going to make it real quick it's very easy to do uh in you only have to remember that it's one ounce of each. Oh, cool. I love that, Bob. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's healthy. And, uh, so, let's see. We're going to first. That was vermouth. That was the rose of vermouth. And what you do is always mix your ingredients first. 
without the ice. Okay. Why? Well, you're, you're not diluting everything. You want it as strong as it, it can be. The, the ice actually helps um, when you stir it, but what you want to do is just give it enough dilution. Again, it's, it's like cooking. All of this is like cooking. Uh -huh. you got to uh, uh, test. Hughes, he's like a mad scientist. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do. Well, when I was a kid, that's sort of what I wanted to do. But the main thing I really wanted to do was treasure hunting. And that's how I ended up being a research analyst. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. So, um, Bob is really good at researching because he finds me so many gigs. He loves to find a diamond in the rough. And that's cool that you're making a jewel drink now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So with that, you stir. For me, stirring is fine, but I particularly like to put in the shaker. You know, okay. it's, it's whatever works for you. There are no rules. You used to be rules that depending on the, the color of the liquor, you would shake or stir. For me, I'm doing it the old way. This is what they did. So, now we... You got it? French drink containing chartreuse, um, rosso, vermouth, and gin, you said, right? And, uh, it's People's preference on gin, I like Tanqueray because, or Hendrix, they usually have the most juniper taste up front. Okay. So I, I like very strong taste. Um, so anyway, cheers. Cheers to you, Bob. Oh no, I don't have a drink. I have plants, but I don't really want to drink those. Ugh. Anyway, cheers to everyone. Cheers to everybody out there. Now you can make one if you have chartreuse, vermouth, and gin at home. Yeah, uh, it's, um, hey. it's one of these things that actually, chartreuse used to be one of these uh, drinks that you'd see way in the background. I usually pick up a fifth, Cheers. probably for about $25. Now I think it's up to about $60, and that's only in the past maybe five years. It's crazy. Wow. So, anyway, that's uh, Cocktail Bob. Very and impressive. Cocktail. How did you become Cocktail Bob? How did I become that? Um, actually, doing my job uh, as, as a researcher, you're, you're always looking and digging and trying to find every available piece of information so you can put together the jigsaw puzzle very quickly. And so, for some reason, something showed up on my screen. Uh, that had to do with the um, Whiskey Rebellion in the United States. And it's a very small piece of history that had it not been squashed in 1795 by Hamilton, George Washington, the country would have been totally different. Um, but anyway, uh, the people from... So I said, oh, this is interesting. I didn't know what history of the college alcohol played in the history of the United States ended up uh, finding out that there was an organization down in New Orleans called Tales of the Cocktail. Oh. And, I said, okay. and this was before cocktails were really popular. The only, if you wanted to get a cocktail from any bar at that time, you'd get the uh, oh, uh, that was a basil, um, Over um, a week. And um, when I came back to Worcester, I said, I have to find a place that understands cocktails because I really want to help out. So I ended up actually going into Nick's and meeting Nicole. And she Who owns Nick's? chatting and she said, You know what? I'd like you to put a program on maybe once a month talking about classic cocktails and making them up. So I ended up making ones about Mai Tais and uh, 
punches and it wasn't until about the fourth one I came in and one of the bartenders said, there's Uptail Bob. <laughs> and I'd never heard of him. They said, we've been calling you Cocktail Bob from day one because you're so into it. So every time I've gone in there, uh, you know, I just go in, uh, they know who I am. And uh, the relationship has always been there. It's unfortunate right now with every all the bars being closed. That that is my favorite place to go to. You've been to Nick's, you understand. Oh yeah. That place it is. Uh, with a little cabaret lounge in the back and the Hi. beautiful Hi. So anyway, that's the long I've story. played at I've played at Nick's. Yeah, that's the long story. This is Bob, in case you're just joining, Bob is my manager. Uh, Bob is also known as Cocktail Bob in Worcester, Mass. He used to be a research analyst. It makes him excellent at finding gigs. And now I put him to other research tasks uh, that have to do with my grant. I have a grant project, guys, that's going to be coming out. I'm going to be really releasing some stuff about that this week. Here's a little preview. If you have an amazing love story or you know somebody who has an amazing love story, let me know because you could be featured in a documentary, all right, for my grant project. So we're going to be looking for the best love stories we can find. And Bob is going to help me research with all of that, because that's what he does. That's what he loves to do. And that's what he's really, really good at. Yes, I am. Thanks, am. Bob, for being you. I'm not going to back away from that. It's, it's uh, skills that I learned when I, starting when I was about eight. I really want to become a treasure hunter. And what I would do is to make maps and, uh, you know, to find treasure. And, and then what I realized, looking back at all of the jobs I've had, every one of them had to do with research and, uh, you know, finding the best piece, the best um, people that would uh, be uh, wanting to donate to the organization. And I always did very well. Matter of fact, the last uh, organization I was with, uh, I left on a very high note uh, with two very, very wealthy people they didn't know that they had. And that, that was always the thrill for me is when I find people like that. Uh, but my job wasn't to go out and uh, swim with the sharks. I'd let other people go down and get the treasure down below. I would be the one that said, here's the map. This is how you get through them. And you're so good at it. Yeah, well, thank you. It's the same skill set that you would use for, you know, either finding money, finding treasure, or finding gigs for you. You know, it's Bob, you got to take a shot for the stream. What? You have to take a shot for the stream. Quick. Bob is a pirate. He's a treasure hunting pirate, and he can sure take a good shot. Bob, Bobby, Bob served in the, what did you serve in? Tell them, you want to tell them? What, you mean uh, when I was in the military? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I was in the post office. Bob was in the post office, in Vietnam, right? Not Vietnam. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was there for a yeah. while. You know, one of those things, it was, uh, that's what he described it, is nine out of 10 people in Vietnam and that other 1% were the people that were in infantry, and they were the ones that went out, you know, and when you see all the, the different film stuff. But no, I was a sport person, you know, uh, just like, uh, you know, basically if you think about MASH, <laughs> that's what it was. I was, I was uh, you know, assigned to um, oh, administration, but it didn't matter in Vietnam. It was just like MASH. You watch the series, you get an idea. And how did you get good at picking out earrings, Bob? <laughs> he picked out these earrings for me. Bob is my manager, in case you're just joining. He's a pirate. Aw, thank you. Every night at 7. Sorry, no, I, I doing two streams at once. I have a, an art down in New Orleans, and uh, he does all of that type of art. And uh, so I, I said to him, I said, I got this singer that um, I think she needs, she needs more, what's the word for it? To draw attention to her. 
and she plays you ukulele, but she loves pineapple. So I had to make those, and, and uh, he keeps it well known. As a matter of fact, is it, does it show on the back? No, it doesn't. Um, I thought it did, but it doesn't. Yeah, on the back, but it'll say Oscar. Oscar Originals, he's, if you go anywhere in the world, um, and women see those, or guys see those, they will know where you got them. And uh, there are people that collect these all over the world. And Oscar's a fantastic humanitarian. Really. Ah, I love yeah. that. Okay. Well, I've always loved the earrings you brought back. He is fantastic. I have looked up Oscar myself. I'm not okay. I'm not saying that I haven't um, with that comment, but I'm trying to think what else I'm trying to remember what else what other things I wanted to ask you. You play you work for So Far Sounds as a volunteer. There's going to be less live shows now though. Uh, that's how we met actually. Yeah, um, I was uh, here in Worcester and uh, saw an article about So Far Sounds and so I ended up going to him because I had never heard of him and uh, ended up talking to the person who put it together and because of my music background, I go to a lot of live shows, but usually the very big shows like the New Orleans Jazz Festival, mm -hmm. the Central Western Massachusetts, the uh, Rhythm of the Roots Festival down in uh, Rhode Island. And uh, so I said, I know a lot of people locally, you know, you're getting a lot of people internationally coming in. So anyway, I am the uh, music talent uh, procurer of uh, Worcester. Yes, and you are. Right, right now, so far, it's got, I think, over 430 different private, secret um, places you can hear live music. Not now, but uh, it's always exciting because you never know what's coming through the door as, as an audience participant. But my job is to sort of go through all of the applications, listen to everybody, and uh, sort of say, okay, I think this is somebody we ought to look at and meet him. We vote on it and we bring him in. And that's actually how I met you. It was one of our so far songs here in Worcester. I said, I think I can help this person out. <laughs> that's been a while, you know that? I know. We've known each other for a while now. Yeah. I, I think we've done pretty good. We've done well. Do you want to hear the theme song? Yes, please. Life isn't so bad when other people are around, but you're never alone anymore with your phone. So, J O Y, live at seven, just connect, say hi. We'll remind each other all that matters in the end is love. Sincerely me, your friend. Perfect. 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 Love it. Good job, Bob. Thanks for being you. Thanks for your service. And thanks for always helping me find dope other venues and everything else that you find and earrings bob finds everything and pringles one time bob got me pringles in every flavor that was just to cheer me up when i was super depressed he got them he went to korea mart and got what was it you got pickle av <laughs> avocado tomato tomato basil pizza pringles steak what if it was filet mignon Rocky yeah. says, so far, cafe. I've seen some of those performances. Really cool artist, Negative Gemini. Ooh, I'll look her up. Jenny Soloway. Oh, I love you, Jen. Where have you been all my life? Come on a live stream and sing opera for everyone. Jennifer is so dramatic and fabulous. I hope she does. That would be awesome. I haven't done opera in, in, a, in several years. I don't know if I feel comfortable singing opera over a live stream. I'd be intimidated. I'll maybe I'll sing something from Sound of Music. Yeah. You guys are funny. This is funny. Bob's a splendid chap. They're saying you're splendid. You're splendid, Bob. Still want to? <laughs> can you make me a song? Of course I can. Um, okay, so come back tomorrow for Tune Tuesday, and I'll make you a song then. Tomorrow is Tune Tuesday, where you can request a song and artwork, and we'll be featuring Liliachi, who will be on the stream. Um, 
If you missed the show today, we made a bijou. It's a French drink that consists of one ounce of Campari, Rosso Vermouth, and whoops, and uh, the third one is gin. An ounce of each. They count. They, it all means gem. What? Hey guys, if you just Be happy. Just reminding you. Hi, Kevin. Cool. I'll post the recipe tonight. And then we have a big schedule all lined up this week for you guys. We're going to do how to make a weird outfit and thrift and style with Kat. She's amazing. She's worked with a lot of like record deal artists. Um, and she's going to be doing style. She's my stylist. Um, and then she found me this sweatshirt, actually. Vintage Guest in New York City. It's already Tuesday in the UK. Shit. Um, Oh, yeah, because it's 12 there. Sorry, guys. Uh, in the UK, it's already Tuesday, so I guess good morning. And um, tonight, we're going to be um, doing more fun stuff for Tune Tuesday. So come on and think of songs you want me to sing. And likelihood is 50-50, I'll do it. So that's, that's good, better than most. So uh, <laughs> how good is um, Okay, so I love you all. Thank you, Bob, for being amazing. And thank you for looking in tonight. Oh, look at Aza came over to this one from the other stream. And you got to. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do this to you. Hi, Nathan Phillip. Hi from Twitch. Hi, Twitch fans. Hey, I love the Twitches. How are you doing, Twitches? Pineapples. All right, you're going to do a chartreuse shot. Absolutely. If you're at home, everyone, know that you can do one as well. Bottoms up. Cheers. Bottoms up. Pirate Bob! Yo-ho! Yes! Ah, beautiful. Hey, Kevin. Oh, great, guys. Well, we're all about being happy, giving, to our, giving back to our community, remembering that life is fun, and that we should be enjoying life. We're all about giving back to our community, remembering that life is full of learning, and, you know... I love you guys. Ah, be sweet, be tough. Remember that you are enough. I'll see you here and everywhere. Just here, every night at seven. Bye. Yay. Hi guys. You want me to stay on Twitch after the Insta stream? Here, I'll stay on. What am I doing though? It seems like a private thing over here. Oh yeah, it is. It's 0024. It's 1224 AM. All right, what do you want to hear? I'll play you a private song. Only time this will ever happen. Quick. <clears throat> hmm. I should put this up here. Oh, shoot. I hear Twitch is better than the other lives. Bob is still live. I don't know if he knows that I can't hear him. Like, we can't hear him at all. Freestyle? Here we go. Here we go. Here Hi, we Bob. Go. Okay. They wanted me to stay on. How drunk oh. are you, Bob? Do I know oh. Billie Eilish songs? Yeah, I love Billie Eilish. She's my favorite. Yeah. Um Yes. Oh, I think I gotta post this to my story though. Hold on. Otherwise, you know, I, I might lose it or something. Yeah. Just a sec. Old Town Road. <laughs> Take me home. To the place I come from, West Virginia. I'm trying, it's just not going fast enough. Wrong song, that's Country Roads. Ah, okay, hold on. Uh, making Monday, we make. Drinks with Bob. All right. 
Pirate manager Bob <laughs> makes a <I> have, bijou. <laughs> hey, I, I do have stories all about pirates, too. Do you really? I have jokes all about pirates. Next time that we should do a completely pirate themes. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I've got I, I've got a number of stories about terrible pirates and actually how pirates came to be. It's Bob, actually don't give it away now. Don't give it away. Make them wait for it. Oh, I will. All right, here we go. Aza, you'll never know where these piercings are. Here we go. Baby, I don't feel so good. Leave words you never understood. I'll never let you go. Five words you'll never say. I laugh alone like nothing's wrong. Four days has never seemed so long. If three's a crowd, then two less. One slept away. I just wanna make you feel okay. But all you do is look the other way. I can't tell you how much I wish I didn't want to stay. I just kind of wish you were gay. Is there a reason we're not through? Is there a 12 step just for you? Is there a 12 step just for you? Something about 11. 11, na, 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 na. Oh, 11, hey. Hey, ten fingers pulling out my hair. Nine times you never made it there. I ate alone at seven, you were six minutes away. I just want to make you feel okay. When all you do is the best Tuesday morning song. Oh, I love Britain so much more than America. I hate saying that, but I'm truly. Can you do everything I wanted? Oh, that's what you're asking. 
da 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 well, maybe that's a lie. Is that the same song? Honey, what's your hurry? No, that's a different one. Thought you stay aside. Da 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 No, that's Ilomo. Um, it's I had a dream. The world was underwater. Not what you think. And if I'm being honest, it might have been a nightmare for anyone who might care. Oh, everybody here, da 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 da. Oh, no, no. But I don't want to make everybody know. Everybody wants something from me now. And I don't want to let it down. And he said, as long as you're here, no one can hurt you. I don't work at a bar. Bob doesn't work at a bar either. No. One day I want to visit America. Come visit it. Yeah. Go to Boston. Got to go to Boston and Worcester. Bob, I have to tell you something. What? I hate Boston. Uh, I like Worcester so much more. I do. I like Worcester more. I think there's so much, there's people and there's culture and Boston. I'm just like, what is this city? Like, it just doesn't make sense. I just feel like people like to drink a lot there. No, no. Worcester is, the, the more I'm here in Worcester, uh, the more connected I am to a lot of people and knowing that there's so much other stuff that's going on. And uh, it, it truly is amazing because there are so many what's the word for it? Uh, different communities that other people don't know about outside of Worcester. This has a huge African community. I mean, it has, must have three different countries here. We have so many different Hispanics. Uh, Asians, it's a uh, uh, different type, Korean, Vietnamese. Chinese, and uh, it's it's just growing. Uh, there's even going to be more restaurants showing up. The French are coming in because there's a couple French bistros that are going to be showing up. Yeah, where'd they come from? <laughs> yeah. Why did I do this? What have I done? How <laughs> do I make it go away? Oh, no. Hold on. Resident sleeper. I don't even know how to make that like not a, I don't know. What am I doing? I don't know anything that I'm doing. <laughs> it's just going to stay there. <laughs> I got to finish for this for today. I can't, I can't focus anymore. I got to go finish my new song that I'm writing. Yes, please do. You guys are going to love it. You're going to love it. It's really cool. It's uh, what is it? <laughs> Still sex resident sleeper. Ah, you want a sneak peek of what I'm writing? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going. Okay. And it's, and it's me gonna be looped up though. You you're not gonna hear the full potential for it. I don't know if I should show it until I'm done. Oh, okay, fine. I'll just do it. I'll just do it. I think I can do it. Ready? Yeah, just do it. I think my neighbors hate me because I because now everybody's home in New York City and they never had to listen to me sing before, but now they, they hear me all the time. So I think they really, they really truly hate me. Hide messages from the stream. Oh, nice, I did it. You should come play in England. Oh yeah. now I'm gonna have okay. fun with this. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna think give me some places and I'll figure them out how to make contacts. Bob, I don't think live music is going to happen anywhere anymore. I'm I'm no, scared no. for not a lot for a while. I don't think people are going to no. want to go out. I don't know. I'm scared no. about no. that. I'm not no. not I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm just trying no. to set my own expectations low. Yeah, yeah for me, uh, we're we're set for maybe April, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. All right, here's okay. my new song. I'm gonna I'm gonna loop it. And it's gonna be different, and there's gonna be lots of harmonies, but I can't do it yet. Okay. Okay. I got all my clothes on inside out. 
but I still feel the same. Got myself upright from upside down. I guess I just feel lame. And then there's a door between my couch and a world of fear. I guess I'll just stay here. All I can do is sing. Oh, all I can do is sing. And then it was going to go something. I have to have a little something here. Da, 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 da. Da, and it'll go. Um, And then the next verse will be, I high purchased the plant section at Lowe's. I shop green whenever I'm able, but I bought too much for my studio. Now my, man, now my mattress is my kitchen table. Binging such a first world problem in quarantining, but I've given bread and I've, but I've given bed and breakfast brand new meaning. And then it'll, and then you'll have to say brand new meaning. Oh, ooh, yeah. Ooh. I don't like that, but I'm gonna figure that out. And then the next thing is gonna be like. <laughs> I wallpapered the hall in the book about drugs. I bought a puppy and then and then threw out five huge pea soaked rugs. I don't know how I'm gonna fit that in there, but I have to. And then it'll go. And I kind of wish I'd gotten rid of this coffin before. I have a coffin in my in the corner of my living room, um, and I never got rid of it. You can't see it. It's back there. It's from my last music video. So, uh. And I kind of wish I'd gotten rid of this coffin before, but then again, maybe now it's worth more. Ooh. Oh, ooh, oh, oh, yeah, ooh, oh. oh. And then that by that point, I'll have looped all the harmonies and they'll be going oh. crazy in the background. But this is just oh. like the bare bones of it. I only found your scream because Evie is my most favorite name. Oh, where's my shots? I actually don't drink. Thank you so much, Aza. I don't drink. I smoke marijuana. If you want, though, I'll go get my bowl and I'll, I'll take a hit. Would you like that? I'll be right back. Anytime anyone asks me to take a hit, I must have no. I'll be right back. I don't think I even get high anymore. That's a sad thing. I, I don't even want to say that. What? And I can't see any of the comments yet. But I wrote that today, and I think weed is the only thing that calms me down. All right, here, hide messages. Take a hit. You are such an ideal woman. <laughs> Thank you. I like to think of myself as the female version of Lil Dicky. Not that I have to think of myself as anything at all, but just like to help people get the concept across. But I'm just me at the same time. Evie Joy. Man, that might be dead. It's a color changing bowl. Is dead. Bob. Yeah. Have a shot. <laughs> have a shot for you. No, they want you to have a shot, Bob. They want you to have a shot. I can't get mm -hmm. Bob. Are you a recovering alcoholic? No. No. Okay. I don't no, it, it, drink. It's one of the things actually when I went to Tales of the Cocktails, the one thing I did do, and I knew the amount of drinking you would you would wake up at nine o'clock. You would go to a session that they would give you three drinks and the drinks didn't stop until three o'clock in the morning because I'm serious, because what you would do is go all to these sessions. You'd go out to all these authors and distillers 
and then you'd have an after party. You'd have an after after party, and then you would have an after after party that would start at about three thirty. Jesus Christ. So my thing was, I did not drink from January to May. Nothing. So I knew my liver was in perfect shape. Uh, but it was an amazing adventure, and I'd never trade it again. Uh, New Orleans in July at 95 degrees and 99% humidity is crazy. But anyway, no, I'm not. It's it's a hobby. <laughs> You're the type of guy you can sit at a bar with and not run out of stories he's saying. No. Still no. <laughs> no. Can you just have a shot, Bob? They say. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. You'll do one shot? Okay, then I'll refill my bowl. Hold on. Do I have any weed handy? I don't know. Yes, right there. No, that one's empty. Okay. okay. That one's empty. Okay. So, can you see this? This is from Havana. Havana. Havana, yeah, Havana. So, I yeah. can lie, just I'm Hey, Kit says one shot for Bob. No bra? Well, I wear lacy fun things. I don't like bras. I think I just one shot for Bob. Kit, how are you doing? What you doing okay. out there, Kit? What you doing in Seattle? Okay, here it is. From Seattle. Here it is. Here he goes! Oh, shoot. Oh, I wasn't ready. I, I spaced. Oh, that's all right. Sprint it. Okay, let's go. Oh, here's another one. You're going to take another one? I just spilled water all over myself. I'm such a noob. Where's my autograph picture? <laughs> um, Brian, you have to, I think you have to purchase an autograph picture at evjoy.com. E V I E J O Y dot com. Oh, my computer's dying. No. Oh, shoot. I can do it. Hold on. I can make it next time and nothing's going to fall and break. Okay. Okay. For somebody who is an Apple technology, uh, you're always, your battery's always running down. You realize almost every other night you're talking about how your battery's running down. I don't like down. tethered. I just move around too much. That's what it is. Yeah. I don't like to be tethered. Get a charger. Why didn't I know? Is it still going to die? I'm on the islands. No, you're on Anderson Island. Isn't that what it's called? Another one then, Bob. Come of other lives. Yeah. Just vibe on Twitch with me in Arizona. And as come on other lives and just vibe on Twitch. I don't know how. I wish I did. Oh, LOL, you said you would send me one, LOL. Well, I'll happily send you one, but it would be very hard for me to send everyone pictures without a mailing address and, and fees to cover the come off other lives and vibe on Twitch with me and Alex. Oh, by yourselves, come off of live, come off of other lives. I will happily pay fees for an autographed. You can get a, you can get a t-shirt and a, and a hand sanitizer. I'm donating to women's shelters, a bunch of them, this. Yeah. I have to make them though. I haven't. <sighs> we'll talk later. I guess I better go. You're awesome. You're awesome. Only fans, you're the first fans on Twitch. Yeah, I guess you're my first Twitch fans. Oh, LOL. Oh, oh. I would happily buy, by the way, Brian, though. It's, it's hard to keep up with everything. How much do you need, Evie? You got to go to eviejoy.com and then just uh, choose something. Choose a CD or something, and I'll send it with the CD. Happily. At eviejoy.com or evijoymusic.com. Um, don't Google OnlyFans, LOL, unless you're signing up. What? I 
think it's a sight with ceiling fans. I don't trust ceiling fan websites. Quick, Bob, run away. I'm leaving the live. Okay. Bye, everyone. See us every night at 7. I love you all. Bye and bye, Kit from Seattle. And bye, my new fans. And bye, my new Aza and Nathy. And bye, Brian. And bye, Bob. Be sweet, be tough. Remember that you're enough. What's that song that says, stay, stay, and I am telling you, I am going, there's no way I will ever stay, no, 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 no way. I can rap as well. You have to do that next time. Tomorrow on Tune Tuesday, request a rap. I don't know, something. Bye. I am totally.